I, Douglas Ducote, an American patriot by the grace of God, do solemnly swear to support and defend the Constitution of the United States of America from enemies foreign and especially domestic. I, Douglas Ducote, an American patriot by the grace of God, do solemnly swear to support and defend the Constitution of the United States of America from enemies foreign and especially domestic. Say it with me. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Hello, American patriots. I come to you today with some really sad and shocking news. Something that I've been talking about for quite some time now, several years actually, and that is the weaponization of our Department of Justice and our FBI basically becoming a political arm of the Democrat establishment. And that is unacceptable as an American. Attorney General Merrick Garland has named a special counsel today to investigate a criminal probe into the unlawful retention of national defense information at former President Donald Trump's mar a resort. Garland appointed former Justice Department official Jack Smith to the role. Smith, a former assistant U.S. attorney and chief to the Department of Justice Public Integrity Section, will oversee the investigation into Trump's retention of classified documents after leaving the White House and whether the former president obstructed the federal government's investigation into the matter. Smith is also tasked with overseeing the investigation into whether Trump or other officials and entities interfered with the peaceful transfer of power following the 2020 presidential election, including the certification of electoral college votes on January 6, 2021. It is in the public's interest to appoint a special prosecutor to independently manage and investigate and prosecution based on recent developments, including Trump's announcement that he is a candidate for president in the next election, and the sitting president's stated intention to be a candidate as well, said Garland. Garland clarified that when it came to the investigation to January 6, his new special counsel, Smith, would not be handling the investigation or prosecution of Trump supporters that breached the U.S. Capitol. Rather, Smith would focus on whether Trump or individuals and entities had tried to obstruct the peaceful transfer of power. As you all know, FBI agents seize classified records from former Trump's home in mar largo during the agency's unprecedented raid on August 8th including some marked as top secret, according to the warrant and property receipt. A warrant signed by U.S. Magistrate Judge Bruce Reinhardt gave agents the authority to seize all physical documents and recordings, consulting evidence, contraband, fruits of crime, or other items illegally possessed in violation of U.S. code, including documents with classification markings and presidential records created between January 20th 2017 and January 20th, 2021. According to the property receipt, FBI agents took approximately 20 boxes of items from the premises, including one set of documents marked as various classified TS SCI documents, which refer to top secret sensitive compartmental information. Records covered by the government classification level could include human intelligence and information that, if disclosed, could jeopardize relations between the United States and other nations, as well as the lives of intelligence operatives abroad. However, the classification also encompasses national security information related to a daily operations of the President of the United States. The government concluded 
the search and response to what it believes to be a violation of federal law 18 U.S.C. 793, which is gathering, transmitting, or losing defense information. 18 U.S.C. 2071, concealment, removal, or mutilation of documents. And 18 U.S.C. 1519, destruction, alterating, or falsification of records in a federal investigation. Well, does that sound like somebody you know? The allegations of gathering, transmitting, or losing defense information falls under the Espionage Act. The former president and his team, through, though, are disputing the classification and believe the information and records to have been declassified. Well, guess what, Mr. Garland? It's also in the public's interest that you appoint a special prosecutor to independently manage and investigate and prosecution based on recent developments with Hunter Biden and his daddy, Joe Let's Go Brandon Biden. It's in the public interest that you appoint a special counsel to investigate Hillary Clinton. It's in the public's interest that you investigate Alejandro Maracas, the director of Homeland Security, for his blatant failure to secure our southern border and save American lives. It's also in the public's interest that you resign because you are a disgrace to the Department of Justice. You are a disgrace to law enforcement across our nation. You are a disgrace to America due to your bias and political weaponization of the Department of Justice, where just Republicans are attacked while giving Democrats a free pass. Lady Justice wears a blindfold for a reason, you incompetent hack. Folks, as we all knew, the minute Donald Trump announced he would run again for president, the left and the Democrats would once again go on full steam ahead, attack of everything they possibly can. They will throw everything they possibly can at Donald Trump in hopes that something sticks. Once again, here we are with our own Department of Justice and our FBI conducting <laughs> investigations that are criminal in nature on their own self. Why? Because what they're doing is unprecedented and it's hurtful to our country to continue this assault against an American citizen, a.k.a. former president of the United States, is absolutely un-American. Now, if Donald Trump did something wrong, I'm all for holding him or anyone that breaks the law accountable for their actions. But your failure to hold the same people, Democrats, responsible for their actions is unacceptable. Continuing to let Democrat members of Congress or former vice presidents or presidents or former administrators of any administration accountable because they're a Democrat is un-American. This weaponization of our Department of Justice and FBI needs to stop. And thankfully, now that Republicans have taken over control of the House, they're going to impeach your ass. Garland, you're out. Director Ray at the FBI, you're out. And this fuck idiot over at Homeland Security, Maracas, not only should you be out, but you should be removed from our country for your failure to do your damn job. And that is to help our border agents secure this southern border and to save American lives that are being killed by the thousands and thousands of tons of fentanyl that's coming across the border. Not to mention the MS-13 gang members. Not to mention the sex crimes and sex trafficking that's taken place. 
This is insane what's happening to this country under this current administration. And it's got to stop. And I hope that when Republicans take control in January, as they will, they put a stop to the Department of Justice, the FBI, and Homeland Security's incompetence by rooting them out of office. As always, please say a prayer for our men and women serving in the United States military, our veterans, our law enforcement officers, our first responders and their families, our angel families, our blue and gold star families in our country. May God bless the United States of America more now than ever before. What's happening today is a disgrace and all Americans should be upset about this.